This video is powered by CardMarket.com. Hey there, it's Jobber here. Gonna be doing a massive, I guess we'll say, revealing here of some amazing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's a lot of like really high-end stuff in this collection and these binders and in here and there's bulk and there's just a really cool variety of a lot of different things in here. And I figured I will uh, show you guys all what it all looks like on camera, so why not? Uh, roughly, there's, it's it's a lot of money here. There, there's there's around probably fourteen thousand dollars in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, somewhere in that range. So this is going to be pretty freaking epic, I believe. This is the most expensive collection I have done on the YouTube channel, actually. So that is first. So that's be really epic. And uh, yeah, so uh, on that, let's get cracking, or I should say, let's get revealing. All right. So if you guys enjoy this video, please drop a comment down below. And like and subscribe for more. Don't forget to bell me too. You get notifications when I post future openings. All right, well, this card got, yeah, it's a rare. We got bent now, unfortunately. It's a sad, it's always sad to see. It has a cool variety of a lot of things. <laughs> I don't really even know how to explain it. There is, like I said, very, very high end cards. A lot of the high-end cards, I, I would like to say that they're all in the binders, but that's not even necessarily true. There's going to be a lot of high-end cards in these deck boxes and in these boxes as well. But there is a lot of money cards in the binders. Yeah, there should be. But they're nice and safe. Yeah, pretty cool uh, cards here. Yeah, Ultimate Rare, Flex Fetter Zombie. It's a really, really cool-looking Ultimate Rare. I'm a big fan of it. Thunder Dragon there, Ultra. Hopefully your guys' this summer has been going absolutely fantastic. Mine has been going pretty well. Very, very toasty. Been looking at my weather forecast of a nice cool 110 degrees. It's pretty hot over here. Redding, California. <laughs> oh yeah, and by the way, this video is going to take a long time. So if you guys want to pause the video and go grab yourself some popcorn, chips, sandwich, order yourself some pizza, this is going to be one of those kind of episodes here. This is not even like a little video. This is going to be like a full-blown episode. You got uh, some secret Denkos there, very cool. Yeah, I don't know where we're going to be time-wise on this video. I'm going to guess, I don't know, I even know how long we're into it right now. Maybe like a minute or two. Uh, I'm going to assume that this video is probably going to be well over a half an hour long. So, just giving you guys a heads up. It's going to be long, it's going to be epic, and it's going to be worth your time. So as we move through these things, the card's just going to get more and more expensive, especially when we start getting to these uh, deck boxes. And then of course the binders. Those are gonna be expensive cards. Rescue for it. There's a lot of like mixed cards in, in here though that have a, a good amount of value. All right, here we go. I actually don't even know exactly where these are uh, sitting right now. The car prices have been fluctuating so rapidly lately. It's pretty crazy to be honest. Spell Cancellor first edition, very nice. A uh, little ghost belly here, very cool. It's gonna be the only difficult part about doing this video is uh, the space, me putting the cards around me. <laughs> oh, and also your my uh, my arms actually start hurting after a while. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind the camera, obviously. My arms are fully extended. It's kind of like one of those exercises, you know, when you grab a, a light weight, say like just a, just a two or three pound weight. It's not very much. And you put your arm fully extended. And after a while, you're holding it there. Your arms are going to start shaking because your arm can only hold it for so long. It's pretty crazy. Those are good exercises, though.
see some more Klee cards in here. Gives me back some good memories of when I was playing the Colfort deck. Now I'm going to be on the hunt for another type of anti-meta deck to build. <laughs> always like, always like that style of deck. It tries to keep the game simple, though they are pretty difficult to play sometimes because with those kind of decks, they don't have giant combos where they acquire a lot of card advantage. So if you make a misplay with an anti-meta deck, it's pretty much game. <laughs> That's how it was back in the day. That's cool. Ultimate rares are beautiful. Okay, let's go through the rest of these tins. The tins have, I mean, there was some mixed, some mixed hiring cards in there, but tins for the most part have uh, more of the lower end stuff. But I don't know. Like I said, it's just a, it's just a mix. Lay these cards down without them flying everywhere. A Minerva, Olivier. What is it? Oh, it's Italian. Italian Ultimate Air first. Very cool. German. A lot of foreign cards in here. A dual terminal Lavalval chain. Medes. Very nice. So yeah, I'd have to I'd have to definitely go through and value every card out, but that's around the fourteen, fifteen thousand dollar range for everything in here. Pretty outrageous. That is just so crazy. People put smaller down payments to own a house. <laughs> it's just absolutely insane. It's so cool to look through all these cards. It's one of my uh, favorite parts of uh, Yugi tubing and being a vendor is just looking at the cards. I really appreciate them. The art and everything. I just really like the game. Obviously it's been around for still a long time. Those are cool. All German, super, and first. Very nice. Yeah, pretty crazy. Most expensive collection I have put up on YouTube. I had one collection before I was doing YouTube videos that was really, really epic. It was <clears throat> three or just it six. It's been so many years now. It was probably like nine or ten years ago. I think it was uh, six of every single card. Sometimes it was three, but it was at least three of every card in the game to that point. It was absolutely insane. Minus the prize cards and everything, but just the base cards. It's just insane to see all the cards. Like, I literally own every card in the game right now. <laughs> Times three. That was crazy. We got a pot of desires in here. Ooh, this one. We got a few in here. Italian, oh, play set of Italians, very nice. Some of the got Manju and Sinjus in here, very cool. 
basically you summon it and you can uh, add ritual spell cards, monsters from your deck to your hand. Sonic Bird adds you the, the ritual spell cards, really cool. I actually really enjoy the ritual cards, I like the way they look. Fusions are pretty cool too, like those fusion based decks. Probably why I like the Elementary Hero decks in the current ones and in the old days. Just Desserts Ultra Rare, uh, 101 Ultimate Rare. And the Italian Invoker, very cool. have one more tin to go and then we're going to be going through uh, deck boxes. Some of the deck boxes are just a mix of just random cards. Some of them are actual decks. So it's pretty cool. Wow, that is an epic looking card. Oh my gosh. Twin Twisters German. Very nice. Let's see if we can get these cards out of here safe and sound. Cosmic Cyclone from the Mega Pack. A whole bunch of magical springs here. And some uh, engages. Actually, I'll put these to the side. I have a friend that's looking for them. So why not, right? We're already in here, we'll just pull them all out for him. Two English original Cosmic Cyclones, very cool. Another Cosmic Cyclone original. Looking forward to seeing what the new ban list will bring us here. Don't know exactly when we'll be getting it. It'd be kind of cool if they actually gave us a set date. We knew they would uh, drop a ban list. I believe way back in the Yu-Gi-Oh days they did used to do that. I think that was more when the OCG was getting their ban list and we basically would do the exact same ban list as them. That was a thing for a really long time and they'd get theirs out sooner so then we would know what basically what we're working with. It's actually a pretty cool looking card. <laughs> Meteor of Destruction, Ultimate Rare. A couple of Mark of the Rose there, Ultimate Rare. Very cool. The Hey Trunades. Three more of those. I believe we've already saw one at least. So that puts us at four of those. There's no like rhyme or reason behind the organization. You'll you'll even see that once we uh, get over to the binders. You'll go through a play set of something and then a few pages down, see another play set. A few pages in, find one or two. <laughs> Just all over, scattered. Duelist Alliance. Although Fusion, oh, Future Fusion Ultimate Rare First Edition. Man, that's cool. We'll definitely want to make sure that stays in the sleeve. Those are hard to come by. Very cool.
All right, so on to the deck boxes and other random boxes. This is kind of like, this is a normal little box here. Almost like a tackle box. It's kind of cool. A lot of number 92s. You'll see more <laughs> later on. Here we go. There's some more 92s here. <laughs> Check a giant collection of them. Ultras, ghosts, ultimates. The whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Build a deck of them. It's crazy. Some more random foils in this box. Kind of some random mix of foils in this one. On to our next box. Go with the white one here. The Cod of Demise. Very good card. Very sweet looking vampire. And yet again, looks like a random mix here. Oh, well, maybe, uh, maybe we found it's not so random here. Looks like the majority of it is synchros. Cool. Right on. Love ghost rears. Ghost rears and ultimate rears a lot. Wing Dragon of Raw Sphere mode. And the way this thing is uh, sleeved up, I'm gonna take it as it is a deck. And it surely is looking that way. I got a French, French, so three French first edition ultimate rare effect failures, very cool. Super rare upstart goblin. Got some more engages, might as well snag those right now as we're in here. Cosmic Cyclone Ultimate Rare, very beautiful card. On to the pink deck box. Let's see what we have here. Ultimate rare pot of duality, very cool. Oh, it's an entire deck, okay. Streaker and winter cherries. Oh, it's a super rare mind crush. Mind crush is a very, very good card. There's a couple of them here. Ultimate rare duality, first edition, ultra. Torrential Tribute. Link Karibo. Ultra Air Ghost Ogre. A couple of those, very nice. random assortment of cards here but we shall see
Looks like a lot of Link monsters, though I believe we're going to be flowing into some other random cards in here. Oh, that's cool. Got a no-name right here. Got a mis little misprint action. It was pressed. Just didn't put any of the ink or the foil in you would say. Summon Sorceress. Misprints are interesting. See some really, really epic misprint collections over the years. Pretty cool. Unique. You don't see them very often. Alright, one more deck box to go, and then it's on to these gorgeous binders that we have down here. Most expensive binder, most expensive, well, probably doing more than half the value of the entire collection is this white binder right here. Pretty cool. Like we have an extra deck deck box here. Oh wow, PSV first edition, a thousand ice restrict, very nice. Ultimate rare construct, also a very nice card. Yeah, a lot of uh, fusions and now uh, links, succeeds. German unicorn, very nice. Velcris. Okay. On to our binders. Start with the blue one here. These binders are kind of interesting. They open up here in the middle, and then you have like two halves to it. So that's kind of neat. There are a lot of these have like stacks behind them of the same rarity and the same card. That's why, uh, if you can tell in the camera view, they're like <laughs> little little bricks of the same card and in here. Dupe frog, super rare. Very, very happy they made the frogs foil. I was complaining about it actively for a while, especially since uh, it was a deck that did so well back in the day. A super agent here, looks like a, I wanna say a play set. Or four, three, yep. Very cool. The agent deck was getting a lot of play and kinda got phased out. Recently a little bit it seems not very many people playing it And we'll see a ban list or some different support cards and we'll could pro probably see it back again Spell shattering arrows ultimate rare you have breakthrough skills ultimate rare and I think they're all yeah, they're all Italian. Very cool. Italian Ultimate Rare First Edition Breakthrough Skills. Nice. And you have a three Secret Rare Fossil Dinos. They are all First Edition. Cool. Have a soft spot for those kind of cards. Probably gonna have to hold on to those. <laughs> Ultimate Rare Effect uh, Effect Failure. Banisher of the Radiance here. And it is German. Beautiful. But yeah, this binder's pretty interesting how it's laid out. You know, all the artifact cards here. Because now I have this other half here.
Let's see if I can actually uh, flatten that out a little bit better. <laughs> Binder's so, uh, okay, I think I got it. There we go. That should work a lot better. Be able to actually see the cards. Gesto Emeralds there, Dual Terminal Ultra, those are cool. And Chalices are really cool to see. Ultimate Rare, Solemn Warning, Italian, very cool. That feels like it. It's for that binder. Beautiful spell book card here. Spell Magician of Prophecy, Ultimate Rare. Got a, a little variety here. I got a secret unlimited, super rare, and a secret first, Aaron. The light swords. More of the spell book cards here. Spell book of power, ultimate rare, two of those. They're both German. Solar recharge up here. Ultimate rare. All are German. And only two are first edition. And then Gusto Emerald Dual Terminal. More spell book cards. Okay, secrets and two more prophecies here. Ultimate rare. Very beautiful stuff. Got a Mon Glacier up here, secret rare. Hey Trinity, two more of those. So I think that's six now we have seen in this collection. Secret Rare Pot of Desires in here, first edition. Ultra Rare, first edition, Effect Valor. Mystic Pipers, all secret first. Lots of reincarnations, Ultra Rare, are very beautiful looking. Neo Species and Grail Mole. She used to be, when it first printed, it was like a $50, $55 Ultimate Rare. Absolutely insane. Got a bunch of holding legs and a one holding arms. Another hey Trinade, so what does that put it at seven now? Ultra we'll Solemn Warning. Ultimate rare effect effect failure DD Crow 
first edition. We have a bunch of ghost rare honestes here. They're all like, I like got Italian, French, Italian Unlimited, French first, and English first. Really cool. Rare Solemn Strike, they are German. And then uh, Black Rose Dragons, Ghost Rare, first edition. So that's an English, that is a German, and that is an Italian one. That's where Rare Lure of Darkness is. Three Ultra IOC Black Luster Soldiers. Very cool card. Forbidden Chalices, Ultimate Rare first, Emergency Teleports, Ultimate Rare. Uh, two of them are first, one not. Alright. That's that. Alright, for the last part of the video here. The most expensive binder is this one for sure. Uh, Ultimate Rare Brilliant Fusions, three of those. And obviously you see uh, six Super Rare bottomless trap holes and you think that's impressive You're like okay there's three in here you go through and there's more it's crazy yeah so this is gonna be a a joy to look at beautiful 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 cards uh ultimate rare maxis ultimate rakaias uh tankies ultimate rare penis chains ultimate rare you got more ultimate rare tankies super rare looks like german mind crushes ultimate rare judgment dragons Yamato's Ultimate Rare, Trigodia, Ultimate Rare, got Seeker Ash Blossoms, Thrasher's Ultimate Rare, two Trishulas, very, very cool. And the Trishulas are dual terminal. You can't see that. Yeah, there's four more here. <laughs> as uh, as 10 Super Rare Bottomless Trap Holes you've seen. Got Ultimate Rare Big Eyes. Uh, Thunder Chargers here, Ultimate Rare, Herald of the Orange Light, Ultimate Rare, Psalm Strikes, Ultimate Rare. Uh, Gaga Cowboys, Ultimate Rare, and then we have Base Stroke, Photon Pablo Operative, uh, Trap Tricks, Trap Hole Nightmares, page of those, so nine Ultimate Rare there. Pot of Dualities, Castells, Foolish Burial, Foolish Burial is a Super. We have an Italian super and an English super rare one. Uh, ult these are ultimate rare instant fusions up there. Uh, one super rare book of moon, two ultras, prohibition super rare. One in the middle here is foreign, it's German. Got uh, skill drains ultra, really cool dandelions ultimate rare. It's beautiful cards. Artisan fusions ultimate rare. Morpheus chains ultimate rare. Uh, Trishla's ultimate, Castell's ultimate, Colossal Fighter's ultimate, Butterfly Artemis, uh, Lone Fire Blossoms, got six super rare ones there, and a playset of Italians, and a playset of English up here. Very cool. More ultimate rare pot of dualities, a couple more ultimate rare tankies, Butterfly Artemis, Dimensional Fissure, super rare. Magical Stone Excavation. What is that? It's German. Compuls here. What language is that? Is that Spanish? Yeah, it is. Spanish Super Rare. Compulse. And we have Ultimate Rare. Regeki up there. Spell Shattering Arrows. Super Rare. A play set. Lumia. Super Rare. Ultimate Trigodia. Colossal Fighter. Ultimate Rare Dark Laws, very, very cool. And uh, one is German. And we have Ultimate Rare Dark Arm Dragons, Ultra Doom Caliber Knight, Chance Appearance, Super Rare. Six Mystical Space Typhoons, Ultimate Rare. Another Raigeki, Ultimate Rare. A Whip Tail, Ultimate. Ghost Ogre, Ultimate. Terror Tops, Ultimate. <clears throat> Turbo Pack, Ultra. Chaos Sorcerers, those are cool. Brace Dragon Ultimate Rare, Dark Arm Dragons, two more Ultimate Rare, Thunder King Ultimate Rare, and then we have uh, Necro Valley here, Ultimate Rare, Spell Shattering Arrows, Ultimate, 
Tour Guides Ultimate Rare, Trigodius Ultimate Rare, Super Rare Pyramid Turtle, which is pretty hard to come by. Two more Ultimate Rare Thunder Kings. We got a place that uh, three Super Compulse, Way Motion Cannon Super Rare. That's really cool. Those are uh, French. Really cool. Uh, spell Shattering Arrows up there. Ultimate. Those are Ultra Rare TP4 Roll Decrees. Evenly Match Secret Rare. Terra Tops Ultimate Rare Playset. Another Playset. More Ultimate Rare Dualities. Four Ultimate Rare Thunder Kings. Four. Gosh, there's so many Thunder Kings. What does that make? Is it seven or eight? I think it was seven. Another duality, ultimate rare. I don't know how many that makes. Nine. And I believe that's it. Some random Pokemon cards in there. Yeah, so uh, we made it. I'm pretty dang sure this video is uh, well over 30 minutes, probably in more of the 40 minute range. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this massive collection, revealing most expensive collection I have ever gone through on YouTube by far so it was absolutely amazing i had such a blast going through with you guys drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think of this video a thumbs up subscribe and bell for more so you get notifications when i post future openings and uh yeah super rare bottomless trap holes are gorgeous cards thanks again jobber here is signing out